Hello friends, today we will learn how to compile Java source codes which are organized in the form of a package. A package is a way to organize classes, interfaces etc. in Java so we can avoid name conflicts when you are compiling or using it in the form of a jar file. Now I have written a text version of this uh, which you can find in our website and the links are in the description. Now we will use these three files. Uh, which are in the text directory dbaccess.java, jmainentry.java, serial.java and now we will just come these things are not organized in the form of a package uh, they are just classes you can see that no package name is given here and then we will compile it right now because I want to show there is a difference when you are compiling a package and compiling a source code clear the screen and show you there are java files and i will just compile it normal way using java c command here we will we only need to compile the j main entry dot java the compiler is smart enough to know that it has to compile the rest of the files like db access and serial dot java if you press it, it will compile it and generate class files which you can run it by calling the java main program or the java jvm and it will generate this output okay now we are going to organize our source code in the form of a package so we will take our three source source files. The first one is the Jane main entry dot Java, serial dot Java, and dbaccess dot Java. Now we are going to organize these three files in a package. For that, you have to use the keyword package PAC. Then you have to give it a name, a package name, which usually you can do it by giving the reverse form of a reverse form of your domain name so that it will be unique. Now I will just create a generic domain name like com dot my package and then you have to add semicolon now you have to use the same package name in all the three files like this You will save it then you will compile that I have deleted the previous class file so you won't be able to see that and now we will compile it we'll use the old command Java C minus D that means that the class file should be in the same directory and you have to add dot that means the current directory now if you compile this file using this command, it will not compile. It will complain that some of the symbols are missing. I cannot find error like that. Now since the, the, this is because we are using the package name. So to compile this kind of file, you have to give the full package name. Sorry. To compile this, you have to tell the compiler that you have to compile all the Java files. For that you have to delete the j main entry and just replace it with the jar. That means that you are telling the compiler to compile all the .java files in this current directory. And, you, and the resulting class files will be, present, uh, will be kept in the current directory only because we are using minus d and dot option here. Then you press enter, system get compiled. Now you can go back to the directory and I will show you how the file file will be organized. Uh, we have given the package name com.mypackage. So the compiler will create a directory structure inside the test directory like this com. Then inside that there will be my package and all the class files will be inside this one like com my package and then db access class j main entry. Every class will be inside this one. Uh, 
we can run it by using the java command but now you have to give the complete command now we have compiled the class files now we are going to run this class files now since we have organized our source codes inside this com.my package package we have to give the fully qualified name to our main file so we have to use com.my package dot j main entry then only it will work so this is how you compile a package and run it on a java command line here i am using windows 10 by the way if you like our content please like and do subscribe if you have any doubts please put that in the comment section hey in the previous example all the dot java files were in the directory test all the compiled class files were also inside the directory test now let's say you want to organize your source codes into a, another folder let's call it source and you want your compiled class files inside another directory let's call it classes now all these files the dot java files are organized in the form of a package as we have seen earlier and the package name is com dot my package so we will keep the source files here and then we will compile these source files like this We will use the java c command and we will use the d dot slash classes because we want our compiled classes inside the classes directory and then you tell where the source files are there and you tell the compiler to compile all the java files then you press enter yeah now you can look inside the classes folder and you can see the same format is there i mean the same directory structure is formed inside the classes directory and all the class files are inside this one now we will run this thing here we have to tell the java jvm where to find our compiled classes so for that we have to use our for that we have to use the class path variable so you have to say that hyphen cp and tell the jvm where to find the classes so we will say that you can find the classes inside the dot classes directory and then you have to give the fully qualified name like com dot my package main entry now this thing will run no issues so remember to use class path when your source code i mean when your compiled class files are inside a separate directory other than the one created by the com your package name okay that's it and if you like our video do subscribe thank you